just having a great time with Chris Christopher Willard <laughs> here in the studio from the Backstage Theater. And, uh, you know, typically I don't get the honor of having Chris in the studio. He's usually over in Breckenridge, which would make sense because that's where you guys are located. Yeah. But I, I came to see you. I'm so I'm, I'm very excited that you did this. Now let's tell everybody where you guys are located at Breckenridge. We're at 121 South Ridge Street. That's across the street from Moe's a Barbecue or Caddy Cornered from the Hearthstone or Fatty's Pizzeria. Okay. So one block east of Main Street. So what you're saying is it's the perfect place to go and get some dinner and then go see a show. It is all things to all people. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, now, we're, we're very close and we have angels next door so you can get a drink and chat with Lee. Um, and then come and see a great show. Okay, now speaking of great shows, what do you guys have going on right now? We have a very busy week coming up. We have our final two performances of Out of Order. That's our crazy British farce that we have going on. It's been running for uh, seven weeks. This will be our seventh and final week. Okay. And uh, I definitely want to recommend this to anybody who likes to laugh because it's a very fun and fast farce. Hey, alliteration. Oh, How about that? Look at you. Uh, and, uh, and definitely worth your, your money and time to come over and check it out. Uh, and you'll only get two more opportunities. It's Friday and Saturday at 7.30. Okay. Now, I must tell you, Chris, I actually have some good friends that their, their very first date over a year ago was to the Backstage Theater. So yes. they celebrated their anniversary by going to see Out of Order, and they absolutely loved it. So, good. I'm good. Yeah. good to hear that. I know. Tell you what. <clears throat> making romantic connections <laughs> and uh, being able to laugh. Now, how do people get tickets? Uh, they can get tickets by going online. That's the cheapest way of doing it, at backstagetheater.org, or by calling 970-453-0199, or just walking up. Okay. And it's a crazy farce. Uh, the, 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 basically, the elevator speech is that it's about a, a junior government minister in the Thatcher administration. His name is Richard Willey. And when you have a name like Dick Willey, things are going to go wrong for you. He decides to, uh, to, to have an affair. So mm -hmm. he books a room at the Westminster Hotel, and then everything goes wrong. They find a dead body in the windowsill, oh, and, and then uh, it just all goes crazy from that point yeah, on. Yeah, I can see where things could go wrong if, trying, if you find a dead body it's in the windowsill. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so that's going on this Friday and Saturday. All right, now, because you're you and you always have a million <laughs> things are. going on, yeah. what else are you doing? Because that wouldn't be enough. No, that's not enough. No, 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 no. no. Uh, so, so then on the 28th of March, we open a brand new show. It's a regional premiere of a version of Joan Didion's The Year of Magical Thinking. And some people may have read the book. It's uh, based upon an award-winning memoir that she wrote. In the span of a year, <laughs> Chaka just <laughs> went down like that. In, in the span of a year, uh, she lost her husband husband and her daughter and so the the entire um, pr um, idea of the of the piece is it's it's the journey that you take to process grief mm. and uh, we, we really look at I'm working with a, a Denver actress her name is uh, Patty Mintz Feigl and uh, we're really looking at this as sort of a, um, a handbook on how to navigate the the, the pitfalls of grief and uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a drama. We don't do too many dramas over yeah. there, so we're excited to bring that. It's a one-woman show, uh, but it's very uplifting and ultimately very uh, uh, positive. The, the, what she discovers as she goes through the process. And it's very interesting. And, you know, I lost my father a year and a half ago, and this was one of the reasons that I was attracted to the piece because it, 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 it really helped me get through the process of, really? of losing a loved one. Uh, and to realize that you're not alone yeah. and, uh, and that these are the things that you'll go through. And all through the course of the play, she says, remember, you're going to, time will stop. Memory will, will shift on you. This is another moment where you're going to have to uh, keep yourself in check and realize that it's part of the process. Huh. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's funny and it's, it's uh, a deeply touching and uh, I think it's going to be a wonderful experience. Um, so March 28th is when we open. We'll okay. play on um, Thursday and Friday of next week. <clears throat> and then it comes back for two more weeks after that. So it closes oh, wow. on April the 13th. Normally Thursday through Saturday run. Okay. So. But we're taking off on Saturday the 30th. Why? Because we have our annual fundraiser, the Backstage Bash. Okay. This is a topsy-turvy celebration. It's an anything-goes kind of event that uh, anything-goes man himself, Jeffrey Bergeron, is emceeing for us. I tell you what, anytime Jeffrey is emceeing something, you should sign up to go just because you <laughs> never know what might come out of his mouth. I know, I know. <laughs> and this year he's at Beaver Run Resort. So he's got an even <clears throat> So he's got more space. room. He's got... That's the dangerous. bar is right there. I and can't so, believe you're <laughs> letting him do that in a place 
place that has bar. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I think we're hiring bouncers to just kind of be a wall that's between the bar. That's probably a good idea. Any, cool. Anyway, uh, that, that's a Beaver Run Resort on March the 30th. We start at 6 o'clock. We're serving dinner, and there's a great silent auction going on and drinks. And then at 7.30 is the performance. And uh, what the performance is, is a variety show comprised of local acts and people that you wouldn't necessarily think are acts that come on and, 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 uh, and just, just do the silliest stuff on stage that they can. For instance, we've got some of the red suits that work up on Vail Resorts, the information guys, oh, really? that are getting together to play uh, the, uh, the oldest uh, bro boarders <laughs> on the mountain. So they're going to do the Harlem Shake up there. Oh, my God. Uh, Teresa and Roger Moen, you're dancing real estate uh, um, uh, people from, from here in Summit County are there's a really great ballroom dancers <clears throat> but they're going to do a less than great rendition of, uh, of uh, Ginger and Fred uh, this sounds event. amazing. Yes, it's called uh, uh, an off day for Ginger and Fred. We've got the Every Belly Dancers, so Belly Dancers are going to come and perform. We have some of some of School of Dance are coming, and I'm reading off here to, to get everybody in. Um, Gibby will be on. Mike, Gib Mike Gibson is on doing the Dow of Gibby, so we're excited to bring that to people. Uh, Noah and the Arcs, C.J. Mueller and his group, uh, so the uh, the Ageless Air Band, will be performing for us. Nice. And there are lots of other things going on. We're still booking acts up to the last minute uh, to make happen. But a okay. uh, lot of fun. It's our annual fundraiser. Uh, it's going to be a great time for everybody involved. Come to Beaver Run, enjoy, enjoy the event. And you can get tickets uh, again online or by calling 4530199. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Well, you guys, make sure you get involved in at least some of it. And for sure, the backstage bash. Go and see, seriously, Jeffrey off the cuff. That um, amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Yes, he's, he's amazing. You're a brave We're man. so lucky that he's coming back again. This is our fifth annual. And then I think Jeffrey's been doing this for four years. This will be his fourth year. Gotta love it. All right, check it out, backstagetheater.org. And uh, Chris, thanks so much for coming over here this great morning. Great to be here. Thank so, you. So great to have great you. Great to All see right. you. We're going to keep catching up. We're going to take a break, uh, and then we'll be back with more Summit Sunrise, so don't go away.